Well, all right. Let's see. We dive in with another reading from the Secret Language of Birthdays book by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers for June 10th, the day of laughter and sadness. And here we have what, uh, by my estimations, is a, a clown kind of mirroring itself. Doesn't look like a clown, but it might be an old-timey kind of clown it's based on the, uh, the little furls he's got going around his... Uh, I don't know, his shoulder area there, I guess, <laughs> in any event. Hey, is it June 10th and it's your birthday? Well, if it is, I just want to say happy birthday. And if you're finding this video long after your birthday has passed, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. But for everyone else who's just joining us out of curiosity, I just want to say welcome and I hope you enjoy yourself. Let's dive in, shall we? Your month is June, your day is the 10th, and your sign is 18 to 20 degrees Gemini of the Gemini 2 period specifically, and your quality and elements is mutable air. All right. June 10th, the day of laughter and sadness. For June 10 people, life clearly has its ups and downs. The more successful born on this day manage to synthesize and reconcile opposites, happy and sad, manic and depressed, funny and tragic. The less successful can be driven crazy by pendulum swings from light to dark and back again. For some June 10 people, it is when they are pushed to desperation that they become the most gutsy. One could say that those born on the stay aren't afraid of anything because they are afraid of everything. Indeed, they often take tremendous chances trying to bring resolution to dilemmas. Those born on June 10 may seem happy-go-lucky, or at least bittersweet, but if one scratches below the surface a bit, well, there is a darker side to their life. Through their own experience, highly evolved June 10 people come to have a deep understanding of the interrelationship between light and dark forces in the universe. They develop a capacity to fill both humor and sadness in the simplest, everyday situations and certainly in socially important ceremonies marking coming of age, to say marriage, funerals, and the like. Less highly evolved June 10 people ride on the same emotional roller coaster, but their experience brings no wider understanding. They have no philosophy that protects them from grief. Dark Plutonic and faithful Satyrian forces have a strange fascination for June 10 people in matters of sexuality, death, destruction, passion, and violence interest them enormously and can even become a fixation. Indeed, it is the fear which attracts and repels them most because it arouses so many deep, uncontrollable emotions. Many June people hide this fascination behind a smiling, effervescent facade, and others are attracted to platonic personalities who exert a magnetic pull on their repressed dark side. Usually June 10 people, their people's rather, analytic abilities are highly developed, and they love to probe, explore, and experiment, as well as theorize. And June 10 women in particular can appear chaotic and high-strung. They often channel nervous energy in controlling their environment. For example, seeking perfection at work or keeping a spotless home. It may be that this represents an attempt to control disturbances in their consciousness. Both men and women born on June 10 must protect themselves against their fascination with the dark side. If they can integrate such an interest in their work in a healthy way, they will be both happy and successful. If, on the other hand, they lose themselves in a cheerful public persona while failing to cope with negativity in their private life, well, this dichotomy splits their nature, creating a Jekyll and Hyde situation. Laughter and tears. The Pellicini laughing clown laugh scenario may become their lot in life. The laugh clown laugh <laughs> scenario, rather. In any event, let's move on to those born on this day. And if you're not interested in that, just advance forward in the chapters to your numbers and planets, tarot, etc. But I like to drill down on those born on this day so we know what company June 10 people are in. All right. 
We have Judy Garland, the film actress, singer, and dancer, and she sang Over the Rainbow in Wizard of Oz at age 17. And unfortunate suicide at 47. And the mother of Liza Minnelli. We have Hattie McDaniel. She was a film actress, the first African-American to win an Oscar. We have Gustave Courbet, who was a French landscape portrait painter. Richard Foreman, an avant-garde uh, theater director and playwright. Emmanuel Velioski, Velakovsky, something like that. Butchered that name, <laughs> as I do with the Russians usually. He was a controversial scientific theorist and author of Worlds in Collision, Age of Chaos. He was also a physician and a psycho therapist. We have F. Lee Bailey, defense attorney and a marine fighter pilot. Nat Hentoff, a journalist and jazz critic. And we have Helen Wolf, the blues singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Maurice Sendak, a writer and illustrator in the night kitchen. We have Robert Maxwell, British newspaper owner, publisher, philanthropist, embezzler, and possible suicide. We have Frederick Lowe, who's a music comedy writer, Portia Porter, woman bullfighter, uh, Suse Hayakawa, a Japanese actor and a Zen Buddhist priest, Duchess Tatiana, daughter of Tsar Nicholas and executed by the Bolsheviks, and Grace Mirabella, a Vogue editor and publisher of the Mirabella magazine. We have Abel Woolman, who's an engineer and a water chlorination developer. Oh, my. And we have Jean Lessig, Quebec uh, premier. Quebec, rather. Samuel K. Skinner, teleportation secretary, or transportation secretary, rather. Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth II's consort. We have Don Fouts, a San Diego Chargers football quarterback, and the second in the NFL all-time passing yardage. Fifth in touchdowns, and also a sportscaster. Moving on to your numbers and your planets. Those born on the 10th of the month are ruled by the number one, as one plus zero equals one, and by the sun. People born on the first generally like to be first in what they do, and the sun tends to grant a warm and well-developed ego, with a distinctly human, positive orientation to life. Those ruled by the number one have firmly individual views on most subjects and be, can be quite obstinate. While extremely stubborn, June 10 people often manage to appear tractable. Gemini is a mutable air sign. And the joint influence of the Sun and Mercury, Gemini's ruler, gives June 10 people a big mental boost. And those ruled by the number one tend to be ambitious. But June 10 people often manifest this drive subtly, directing others from behind the scenes. And here is your tarot. The tenth card of the Major Arcana is the Wheel of Fortune, which signifies a reversal in fortune and teaches that there is nothing permanent except change. The wheel indicates ups and downs, wins and losses, successes and failures in life. Those ruled by numbers 1 and 10 focus on seizing opportunities. Acting at just the right moment is the key to their success. And the accompanying glaring successes and failures associated with the Wheel of Fortune teach that no success in life is permanent, nor any failure. Let's move on to your health. Those born on June 10th must be careful in their destructive impulses, which are rarely directed against others, but self-inflicted. Tendencies to depression are found on this day. June 10 people must guard against addiction and antidepressant drugs. The answer is not an emphasis on light behavior. June 10 people must find a psychological balance between light and dark. This can only be accomplished by acknowledging their dark side, and ceasing to fear it, and ultimately effecting a reproachment. Lack of sexual expression can have a very negative consequence for those born on this day. And athletic pursuits to keep healthy are helpful but not necessary. Moderate exercise is indicated. And here, some advice. Clarify what is troubling you. Beware of escapism. 
whether it is into the world or out of it, and also of looking for your other half in someone else. Strive to integrate your actions and your fantasies. And here is your meditation. You can always tell artists they do their work every day, whether they get paid or not. Moving on to your strengths and your weaknesses. Your strengths, you're daring, you're capable, and you're human. And your weaknesses, you're troubled, over-emotional, and erratic. Your season is spring. Once again, your sign is Gemini, of the Gemini 2 period specifically, and your quality and elements is mutable air. And that has been June 10th, the day of laughter and sadness. From the Secret Language of Birthdays by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers. I have an affiliate link down in the description for this book, so go through that link, do some shopping, maybe pick up the book if you're interested. Either way, you're helping support the channel, which I greatly appreciate. And uh, I just think this is a great addition to any coffee table, any bookshelf, something to pull down when company arrives and get the conversation started if you need an icebreaker of sorts with over a million copies sold, as indicated on the cover there. Hopefully we can get that to two million if you like the channel here. Yeah. In any event, if it was your birthday today, I just want to say happy birthday. And for everyone else who joined us out of curiosity, I uh, hope you enjoyed yourselves. And for all you June 10 people, if you found this spoke to you, let me know down in the comments. And even if it didn't, I'd like to know, especially with that uh, light and dark uh, dichotomy you got going on there. Let's just find out how strong or how accurate that really was. In any event, once again, thanks for joining, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.